Luan, it's Aiden. Come in. Luan? Come on, Luan, answer me. You there? Ah, oh, great. I fixed the transmitter and now the radio's silent. on Radio Free Villador. Your neighbor, your city, once more and forevermore. Signing off. Talk to me, Frank. Look, we started off on the wrong foot. I'd like to correct that mistake. Have a drink. Yeah? For me. Uh, Frank, I really don't have time for this. I, I have to find another way to find my... Just listen. Walt needs to access that Jari place. You get it? That's why we have to find that pilgrim. He's offering a lot of fucking crystals for what he's got. And a lot of boosters. Do I have your attention now? With those? Renegades, yes. But how did you... The TV station used to be controlled by the military. They did more than just broadcast from there. Thanks to you, we can now listen in on the enemy. It appears that Waltz is looking for the same database you're after. But the observatory is completely soaked with chemicals. <laughs> I have no idea how this GRE crap works, but Waltz sure seems to know. Maybe the observatory is not the only place to access the database. Is this conversation all you have? Uh, for now. But if we got close to their position and hacked into their frequency, we could collect more intel on Watts' plans. How? The transmission you heard was intercepted near an old military antenna in the wharf, just south of Marsh End Lane. If we activate that antenna, It'll boost the signal, and we'll be able to hear everything they say. Every syllable. And 
and you'd know exactly what Waltz is up to. All right, anything else before I get going? Oh, one more thing. Look at that poster, Aiden. Nightrunners used to abide by that creed, live by it. I used to think we were as torn apart as that piece of paper, but the creed still means something. And if you increase the range, I can contact the remnants of the old night runners. Some must still be alive. I see it now. This means a lot to you, doesn't it? Not just to me, to everyone here. But there's one piece missing. Do you know why I haven't thrown this poster away in all this time? Because of Luan. When I saw her for the first time, she was maybe, what, eight, nine years old. She was barely alive. She looked like she hadn't eaten in a year. And she was trying to help some kids get a crystal back from a thief. The guy was threatening them with a knife. He was twice their size, stronger, and she jumped on him. Bit his hands so deep that his screams were heard as far away as old Villador. After that, she gave the crystal to one of the boys and left. She didn't get anything out of it. She didn't have to risk it. I looked at her and thought, this is all we have left. As humans, we can fight one another. Everybody just for themselves. Or, no matter what, we can stand up for each other. Then I wrote down this credo. That little girl helped the Night Runners become who they were for years. And if we are to be reborn, we cannot do it without her. Okay, I'm on my way. Then go get him. I'll be on the radio. You remind me of Luan before she became obsessed with that goddamn hit list of hers. I'll get ears on the renegades for you. I'll find out what Waltz is up to. I promise. Good day, Villador. Frank is back. And I've got some more exciting news for you. Blankets, food, and drink and water. I'll be there. Good to see you. There was nothing worse than the infected. <clears throat> Today, I'm not so sure. <clears throat> hey, Frank, that's uh, that's way up there. Yeah. GRE made them hard to reach for a reason. Keeps them away from the bad guys. But for a guy like you, Aiden, piece of cake.
Frank, I got the antenna going. Okay, let's see what these bastards are talking about. Down the guys and head east. Walls in. We need to meet him. They're moving, Aiden. They said they're going to meet Waltz, heading east. 
There is another antenna on top of a condominium at the intersection of St. Paul Boulevard and Peach Street, just by the entrance of the main canal. Get it working, and we can keep up with them. Got it. to close the sluice gates and back the chemicals up into the city. But his stronghold will be destroyed as well, so this evacuation wouldn't make sense. We need to expand the range to find out more.
Frank, I activated the second antenna. The renegades were here, on the roof. Speaking of renegades, hearing more chatter. Meeting in Garrison Boulevard, all opposite. Walks will be there to give us orders. Anything new about that pilgrim? No, but he found someone who will help him access the database. If you know something new about that fucking pilgrim, let me know. Keep looking. Frank, I need to get to where they are. You heard the maiden. Waltz is looking for you. He's got a way to access the database. <laughs> he found someone. He's too strong for you, and you'll be playing straight into his hand. If that's the only way to find out the truth, then so be it. You're stubborn, kiddo. Stubborn like Lawan. I'll be in touch.
was right. These fuckers were eavesdropping on us. First him, then we'll get that GRE employee from the old Villador. And the boss will be over the moon. Where's Waltz? Waltz? We don't need Waltz to deal with you. Oh, good old Frank. So naive. Warning people. Talking way too much. I think so. Yeah. Waltz wasn't here. And they know we're eavesdropping on them. I know. You know? Someone tried to tip me off, but the warning came too late. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I... <clears throat> my infection just flared up. The renegades were talking about some GRE doctor from the bazaar. Waltz is looking for him, too. Former GRE and old Velidor? I'll look into it. Who tried to tip you off? Well... That's the strangest part. It was Hakon. He wants to meet with you. I wasn't aware the two of you had met. Anything I should know? It's... a long story. Why doesn't that surprise me? I thought he left the city. Well, he's still kicking, and he'll be waiting for you at the church on St. Paul Island. He's got the goods on Waltz. And hell, maybe he knows something about Luan, too. I'll go meet with Hakon, Frank. You try and find out what happened to Lawan. Just remember, they're listening to you too. Will do, Aiden. Be careful. Who knows what Hakon is up to? I'm going back to the fisheye. Good luck. Frank's <sighs> 
calling for the return of the Night Runners. <laughs> Frank, the church is empty. What are you talking about? Well, Hakon's not here, but it looks like the renegades were camped here. Their fire's still smoldering. Hey, then. Why did you want to meet, Hakon? Why not? It's been a while. Looks like you've made some new friends. How is Lawan, by the way? Wait, don't you know where she is? No. But what I do know is that someone's been killing William's top officers, each with a single crossbow bolt. Sounds like Lawan's MO, doesn't it? Okay, Pilgrim. Time to get down to business. You're still on Waltz's leash, I see. Enough chit-chat, Aiden. Give me the key. <laughs> what? The GRE key, Aiden. Give it to me. Try taking it from me, Hakon. I'll do my best. Promise. Get that key from him! Yeah. <laughs> 
Kiddo. You've made quite a name for yourself in this shito. Is that what you wanted? Are you really ready to kill me for that key, Hakon? Well, so many people have died already. You can't stop the wheel from turning now. But well, you had a chance to kill me. To take it from me at the bazaar, what changed? Well, what do you think, kid? You promised to get me out of the city. We had a deal. But then you ratted me out. And you think Waltz will just let you go, just like that? You know what he did to Dylan. To... to all the others. Yeah, but they all stood in his way. Dylan betrayed him. Lucas wouldn't give up the key. So? So you murdered him! The key is my pass out of the city. Real fucking shame I have to kill you. Hakon! You can't get away! Maybe. But you don't want to see me. I ain't as pretty as before. We've both seen your biomarker. You're not gonna find me in time!
Frank? Where you been, kid? Waiting for you at the fisheye. Get over here. What about Hakon? There was no saving him, Frank. I see. Out of the canteen, Aiden. We'll talk. I've got some news for you. He left me no choice, Frank. I see. I guess it was inevitable. Miserable bastard. <laughs> How can you bastard? I'm this close to drinking again because of you for all the good times and bad. But I'm not going backwards. I'm not gonna fall down that hole again. Yeah. Sleep well, friend. I've contacted some of the Night Runners, Aiden. Those who are still alive. Killian should be here anytime soon. But Killian from Old Villador? Same one. Speaking of Old Villador, you have to get to the bazaar, Aiden. She's waiting for you. Waiting for me? Who? The GRE doctor Waltz is probably after. When you mentioned the bazaar, I was able to get in touch with her. She can help you find Mia. Her name is Veronica Ryan. I remember her. She's one of the first people I met after I came to the city. We were acquainted once. She used to come to the canteen. You'll find us somewhere in the vicinity of the church. Good luck, Aiden, with everything. People massacred in the tower. That place is cursed, I tell you. Veronica won't wait for you forever. message to the 
Night Riders on the Free People's Radio. I didn't know. Thank you. 